This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Back again at Superior Bait and Tackle here on Sagan Lane. And, uh, man, I, I, we got some great news. My head is this big right now. Uh, the biggest news I got right now is, is uh, Quentin Capo. He's almost like a gotcha. He come in third at the Bassmasters Elite at, at Big Fork. We fought him all weekend. We watch him on phone. We watch him on live TV. Uh, it, it's just so proud, especially when you fish with a you fish with a man when he was a young boy. You know, and you fish with him. You see him grow up. You see him do good in business, and all of a sudden, him and his daddy retired, and they travel to these elites. And uh, he, he finally he he finally got in the in, in the elite. Believe me. Uh, he stuck with them all weekend, all weekend, all weekend. So, uh, congratulations to you, my buddy. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm not really his godfather. We call my adopted godfather. His real godfather is Mike Devenson, and I'm sure everybody been around Rusty and them are, are happy. Congratulations. Uh, I, they, they sent me a picture. Uh, James Overstreet, one of main photographers for years with Bass Masters and, and the Elite Series of good friends of mine and Gary Crowd. Uh, he didn't know it, but when he took that, he was taking those pictures for the last day. He got Rusty sitting there with Quentin. And look at that hat. Paradise, Louisiana hat. So that's it. We went. We spent another great day. I always enjoy these. Uh, the AF Foundation had their inaugural fishing rodeo but it was about the fifth or sixth year that we've had this, and the uh, crowd's just getting bigger. The food was outstanding. Uh, the wildlife fishers was out there helping and teaching. CCA was one of the big sponsors, and we talked to Rufus and went out there, and here's some shots of some kids really having fun. So most of these, uh, these children are challenged, but uh, you never know the way they fish. I mean, they fished all day. The weather was beautiful, a little windy. And so we're going to visit that. And we got an event calendar coming up like you wouldn't believe in a Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report. Thank you for letting that open and be long. One more time, congratulations, Quentin Capo. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. It's time, time to register for the summer long CCA Star. Star is Louisiana's largest fishing tournament with 25 divisions and over $500,000 in prizes up for grabs. And new this year, any CCA members who have their star ticket before May 14th will be entered to win a brand new 195 XTS Nautic Star paired with a Mercury 115 four stroke and trailer. You have to be in to win. Register today at CCAStar.com. Welcome back to the Pier of Bait and Tackle, and welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Uh, the event calendar is, is still there. It's been there all month. We got a lot of things coming up in, in, in May and June. I just hear today, this is premature, but uh, we got Catholic High. We got a lot of rodeos coming up in, in, in June. Uh, we got rodeos are coming back. I hear the Catholic High is coming back. I hear that Swole Fest is coming back. But we'll give you more on them, and I, and I still I've been holding it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna 
show you a little bit of video and tell you about the former sand dollar will be the Grand Isle Marina now. So, so starting out, we're going to do this coming weekend, May 1st. Again, it's Trinity Outdoors Bass is Classic St. James Boat Club. So we've run, been running that for the, for the last month. This is the, this is the weekend. Uh, also on May 1st, this is, is the invitation only, but uh, they back and doing that, what they do for the St. Jude families. Uh, I usually cover that, so there's a good chance I might be there, but they, they're bringing it back. Last year they didn't do it, but they've been doing it for almost 20 years. I'm not inviting you because it's invitation only, but to remind people that there's a lot of them that is coming back. So if you've been there, you can check with them. You can go back. Uh, on May, May the 8th, again, Abbeville. In Abbeville, the dedication of the park over there and the, and the fishing, they're going to have wildlife and fishers going to be there. They're going to have food, fishing festival, everything. And, uh, and that's going to be starting at about 7 o'clock in the morning in Abbeville. Uh, also, May the 8th, starting at 7 o'clock in the morning, dreams come true. It's got their shooting clays at the GOL. One more time, I'm mining there. I might not be there. I can't be both places, but I might be there afternoon to see some of the prizes and some of the stuff that was going on, and definitely to eat. So I'll be over there. May also on May 8th. Uh, I just heard this through the grapevine. Uh, they're they're going to have a grand open of living the dreams new. Uh, I, I guess headquarters. So they're going. to, it's expanded. It's going to be better living the dream. One of the better guide service over there have been friends with us. Uh, Gary Krause and myself have fished with them numerous times catching Sackley. So I'll tell you more about the fish report. And I got a report also uh, on, on May 2nd. Uh, Gotham's holding an archery 3D tournament. And they had all the directions. And I, <laughs> I lost it. But call Gotham. And he'll tell you, you know, Gotham's right there at Central and Oak Point Shopping Center. Uh, just call him and tell him about it. the location. It's the outside deal. He, you, you call him and, and it's Kenny and I'm going to tell you about how to get there if you want to participate. So uh, that's the event calendar. And we'll come back later. And uh, you never know. We, we, we might have a pretty good fishing report. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. everybody. I'm Rufus Hise. I'm the director of the AP Foundation, which is a special needs and autistic foundation we put together in my mom's honor. Uh, what we do is uh, go out and raise money and we put on social events like this right here. Uh, we're at Wydale uh, Game Reserve off of uh, Flannery Road in Baton Rouge. This is our inaugural fishing rodeo. We've been in, uh, been in operation for four years. Uh, we have a great time with it. And we so far had a lot of success. 
Today we got a bunch of people out here catching a lot of fish. We got some awards. CCA came up. Got a rod and reel for everybody that participated. And we're glad Paradise, Louisiana come out to, to film our event. Man, that's cool, bro. Did they count it for you? Yeah, you know what kind of fish that is? No. That's a, that's a perch, but that that's a shell cracker. That's a shell cracker? Yeah, perch? that's a tinker pin, they call it. Shell uh. cracker, tinker pin, they run. Tell me your name. Colin? Colin, mm -hmm. Colin what? Um, What's your last name, Colin? Not easy. I just think Colin. Oh, just Colin. Okay, that's good. And uh, you number 17? Tell me your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Kitty Mae Matthews. Kitty Mae Matthews. And, I'm, and I have autism and I'm from Walker, Louisiana. How old are you? I am, I am, I am 11 years old. How many fish you done caught today? One. I have caught one fish. All right, we just got here. It's time to go. Tell me, tell me, I'm Officer you find. What are you doing? Why are you here today? My name is Christina Solney. I am an anesthesiologist at Baton Rouge General Hospital. I was actually uh, told about this event by one of the wonderful nurses, Jennifer, that works at Baton Rouge General. I have a daughter, Peyton Walker, that has autism. Um, contacted Mr. Rufus and he told me about this wonderful organization and what he was doing and so I invited my family out here to the fishing rodeo to support children with autism and hopefully have them meet other children with autism so that they can go ahead when they're adults and have friends just like the rest of us. Well you brought a ringer in, a fisherman, I did, and you, you, yes. you got your mother here. <laughs> yes, I'm Ms. Right. Veronica, I want, I want you to tell me, just for history's sake, where did you go to school? I went to St. Peter Claver's in Grammar School, St. Mary's Academy in New Orleans. We were in the French quarters at the time. And I went to UNO on the lakefront. Yeah. And, and uh, if y'all watch Paradise for Weezy and I, y'all seen Mr. and Mrs. Dupree fishing off the bridge, the Grand Isle, and off the bank. And it happened to be your brother. It's got yeah. to be Dale yeah. and Jan. Thank y'all so Jan. much for what y'all do. Thank and you. keep it up. This Thank is your you. first year. I'm sure it won't be your last. No, sir, it will not. There you go. Hello. How many y'all catch? Four. 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 We not skunk. <laughs> Boy, that's a trophy. And my trophy cut. Mason Coco. I fish. Fish too many raptors. How old are you, Mason? I mean, I be um. 30 years old. How old are you? 30. Boy, you all right, buddy. 31. 31. Look at that fish. That's a lucky I'm number. I'm going to get a cup. Amazing, Coco. Come here. Come, come through. Get close. All right, amazing. Give me five. All right. Brittany Harvey. I'm from Tillam Springs, Louisiana. Oh, you you a home girl. Mm. You comfortable? Yeah, his second one. Hey, Ron. Hey. What's your name? What's your last name, Ron? Hanum. Yeah, Ron. Right. How old are you? Uh, okay. 37. You catch any fish? Not yet. Awesome. Yeah. How, how you like this weather? Thanks. Good. <laughs> That's good. Stay here. Now, who's Stay your buddy? Here. That's his brother, Shane. Shane. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know this guy here. Yeah, Richard Pike. You. That's my St. Alphonsus cohort. Rich. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Hey! Man, look at oh, that monster. Oh, darn! Hold on, let me beat him on camera. Shane, hold him up, Shane. <coughs> Boy, that's a Hold him out toward the camera, he look bigger. <laughs> so look over here. Okay. Hey, we're back here. I got a uh, fish. Hey, you got him, buddy. Yeah, Shane. You, you, you catch any fish? Yes, sir. Yes. How many you got? I got three. Okay. Three, three fish. Right. Well, you got four fingers up. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. Lady, I met your boyfriend a while ago. My dad, Prince, was just staying me. Yeah. What's your boyfriend's name? Miss I. My gay stay stay me. Amazing, Coco. Yes, that yes. Mm -hmm. Lydia, how old are you? I am, 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 four eight five, four eight five eight oh. Well, that's perfect. That my name, Leah. I keep high. 
You got that. Who put that name on the box? I did. Yeah, we're good. Get it, Mama. Okay. Why? Why? And like if. Miss Monica, you and I go back a long way. A long, long way. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to be on there. I don't need to be on there. Toto, Miss Monica, you and I go a long way. Yep. Your dad and I and your sisters and all were close. <laughs> Tell me, how long have you been involved in, in, in this organization and helping? This one here is my first year. Um, I started uh, coaching bowling for Special Olympics, but this is my first uh, fishing rodeo. With, with so look at this one. Yep. See ya, guy. Did you catch any? Y'all calling it yeah. quick? Yeah, yeah, close, close, babe. I'd like to give you a little information about our foundation. You can find us on Facebook. We have a website. Of course, you can contact me directly. Uh, basically, what we do is, this is for special needs and autistic folks, and what we try to do is put on social events. Uh, I started this because two brothers and a sister with autism, my mom used to go out, get groups together, and go do things. Uh, when she passed away, I realized that my brothers and sisters didn't have nothing to do, no social life. So that's where I stepped in. Uh, we got an organization together. You can uh, help, uh, help sponsor us. You can help support us. Uh, we take donations. And if you have never participated in any of our events, uh, it's no charge. We never charge anybody for anything. All you got to do is sign up on Facebook. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter. Home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo. Built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo. Abu Garcia for life. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana and the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you know, we're having some tremendously bad weather, fresh water everywhere. You will not believe all the reports. First time the sunshine comes out and I'm getting reports from all over. I'm gonna start over there at my home base, the Island Marina, uh, right side charters, uh, Whitney, uh, Miss Angie and them daughters, she, she's sending me pictures. Whitney ain't got to send me all of them, not to me, but you did. You're doing a good job, baby. I just wanted to tell you that uh, they, they, here's the redfish. They catch them. Oh, they're catching redfish everywhere. Also, Mike Mike Brantley is sending a report. He's catching them on the trussels. He's catching them in, in Lake Bourne. He's catching fish everywhere. Everyone is charging. He's not coming back, and he's sending pictures to prove it. Uh, he's been so busy, but he's... He's called him and gave him his report late. So, Mike, if you don't get it in early, <laughs> I ain't going to be able to put it on there. But I do want these reports. Now, all y'all other captains out there, if you send your name, your charter service, and, and, and you want to, you know, and be honest, and if you want to tell me when it's good or when it's bad, I'll run you every week. I'm going to tell you, this is the only thing that's, that our, our program stands out different than all these other great shows. Uh, on all these other networks, so just want to do it. Also, let me tell you what, the YouTube channel right now is exploding with people, and, and some of these people are great. You know Chaz is great. You know uh, Todd Mason is great. You know John Miller and them are great. I mean, they're, they're full of information. They, they, uh, they, go every, they go every other day or whenever. Everything is fresh and new. So... Uh, and you, and you can catch our show, by the way, on YouTube. You can sign up. You can watch it every week because every now and then some of these cable companies are dropping off, so it makes it different. Now, uh, going to the Lake Pants train, I told you, they're catching these fish on the trussels. I had a cousin that, that uh, 
controlled the trestles. He uses uh, he uses a different bait, but even the buddies of mine that are catching them on the trestles, the shrimp are hard to get in that area. Okay, and when you do find them, they're 70 cents a piece. I'm not going to fault them, you know, because uh, they're making a difference, some people. But thank God we got a lot of these captains and a lot of them old times captains like Dudley and them and Gallo. They, <laughs> they've been catching them on plastics all the time in the world. But they will tell you in a minute if they got live shrimp, they're going to use it. If they got live croakers at a certain time in the summer, they're going to they're gonna get the biggest bait. Even when Dudley was selling bait, okay, and he had his own bait company, when he go to a seminar, he, he would tell everybody, I'm going to tell you, I made bait. I was glad you used my bait. Had people in here today still buying Dudley. I'm going to tell you what. If they got live bait, I'm going to use it. And that's what they're biting on live bait. I'm going to pay for it. So that's it. And then going back and talking about it, in, in, in Lake Pontchartrain, my cousin Raymond Mercedes and them were doing it, and uh, they're catching 20 or 30 and really good size. Okay, good size trout. And, and, but also to get some throwbacks. Ken Lambert and his brother Hal did the same thing. Uh, he took a picture of the alpha and thought, I don't know if Chris is going to use it, but he had a box. I think they had 30-something trout. They had a flounder. And they had this. Uh, they caught about six of those now. Uh, they were fishing drop shot with plastic just to change things up. And they caught, they caught four or five of them trolling, too, just to see what it was it. And they were using a rattle trap with the squid on the back. Somebody was coming by them or the boat, and they would catch them every time, every pass. They were using a red rattle trap with a red squid. So I was just want you to know that... Uh, the trussle right now is hot. I don't know if you've seen Joe McAloose's column. They're moving in. So this fishing, this fishing report's a little bit long, but uh, I, I don't want to leave nothing out because they're doing it. The hottest plastic bait been the Matrix Shad. Okay, uh, Mike Bandley and them been using, uh, we, we used to call it motor oil, but they, they got a different color. Uh, they called it something else. I didn't write it down. Uh, Ken Lambert and them are using the Magneta and the Limbo Splice. So, and, and it's just different ones have been, you know, uh, catching them on, on different colors, but uh, they're using a little bit heavier jigs. Depends on how the tide is and tide strong, they're going down and fishing. So, now, Big Trout, Fouchon, Mr. Rudy Valenciano. Mr. Rudy sent me some pictures. Uh, he was this weekend, he was so proud. He said he didn't have whole lot of numbers but he had fun he getting his shrimp from moran a big beautiful shrimp using live shrimp uh he he had them that ran anywhere from uh 25 inches 21 inches smallest one 15 inches he said but uh you know they're catching in the 20 and 30 range they're catching trout he was so proud of it. his boys and them ran to the chandelier you all know that right now, and people coming out the planes and ain't been flying because of the weather has been so bad. Uh, and, and, and the chandeliers are muddy, muddy, muddy. For some reason, they're not doing that well. Yeah, that'll turn on any day. So if you've been wanting to make a trip of your lifetime, you can, you can call our friends over there at the Tofield Bourgeois Sun and them, and they, they are they, they booking plane trips. You want them to do that. Uh, to lead a bin. I, I got I got a bad report on the bass. People were over there. And I also got a bad report on the sackle, even though they've been catching them. But some friends of mine went over there for two days. They couldn't get out. But one good thing about them captains, if you booked over there, they don't want it safe. They rebook you, they gave you a discount. They're doing a lot. So just to remember that, if you book a trip, you always call their head. They check the weather. But these boys got there and didn't fish two days. Uh, I, I got, oh, oh, him, Mr. Henry Mouton sent me some pictures. I want to see this. Is, uh, the church over there in, uh, that's on the water in Manshack. Uh I've passed it. I've been in it. I've been prayed in it. I've been stuck in it in a storm one time. So he, he sent a picture. I thought I would just run it again in, in Grand Isle Sunset. Uh, my good friend, Mr. Tom LeBlanc, you might have saw, and uh, 
Joe Macaluso's caught them Sunday too. Tom and them, they fish every week. They're retired service people, good veterans. They go there every week. They're going out in the Delacroix area. And I'm trying, oh, they, and Fouchon, their favorite bait is black and short truce. And they got different other new colors, but they finally caught 25 trout. None the first day, second day, 25 trout. They hunted them. That's the consistent. That's them old veterans. They did it. Congratulations to you. Uh, let me let me check this out. I believe that's it. Said uh, that's it. Spillway is too high. I had my grandsons and them went to Old River. They heard they were catching them up against the levee. The waters them fell too far. The, the, the fish went in there where they were. If it clears up, you'd be surprised. You got the ballpark. You got Brim coming in there. You got Sacolay, Old River, and all these places. If you hear the people catch them on the levee, don't forget about trespassing. You know, in the Ramey and other places, people got cattle. You got to be careful. In the old days, we used to we used to stay up on the levee and walk down. We'd find a good spot. And uh, we weighed out, we got them tennis shoes on and, and waited and we weighed out and killed those bass in the flowers. On spinner bait, lunk and, and even in a, on a jerk bait. So that's it. So I'm gonna keep it short. And we're supposed to keep it short. But uh, hey, come back next week. We still got a lot of things coming up. You see some of these events. I'm going to try my best to be there. I'm going to try my best to get out and give you a better fish report. God bless Louisiana. Thank you here, Superior Bait and Tackle. Thanks to all our sponsors. You know, look at Coca-Cola and, and all the people that have been with us for years, you know, Benny's, Cold War, all those people that are in there. And you see these people, CCA. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. They have stuck with us, and a lot of people wanted to stick with us and couldn't. You know, a lot of companies during this trend, this pandemic, you would call it what it was, uh, just couldn't do it. Mark and them right here is stuck with us. Everybody is stuck with us. Some people promised to come back, relief winners and them. I, I'm, I'm going to hold them to it. Don't forget, you let those sponsors know. Let them sponsors know that you're watching us. People say it's a dying art that when these shows are over, everybody's going to be on the Internet streaming. So you never know. But while it is, while I'm still living, you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA, Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, IMCO, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.